Uh, wanted to uh, start out by talking about uh, the submarine, and and uh, as you know, uh, efforts are still continuing. The odds uh, of finding them and finding them alive keep uh, decreasing, but but the the search continues, uh, and and hopefully hopefully they can be found. I, I wanted to focus on something a little different than the submarine itself, because it, it, that is it is what it is, and that is the response, the response on Twitter, particularly and elsewhere to this whole, uh, to, to what's going on. And, and the response, now granted, look, this, this is the response on, on social media, which is, of course, exaggerated and, and you only see certain voices and, and, and there is, you know, people, people post stuff. I mean, the thing about Twitter is people post stuff, stuff all the time that is, uh, um, you know, they're just mouthing out, off and, and they're not really serious. Uh, you know, a lot of it is they're doing it anonymously. Um, but the response to this has been really horrific. That is, the number of people going on Twitter saying they deserve it because some of the people on on the vessel are rich is just truly unbelievable. I mean, uh, here's a, a post on Twitter. Next time some rich white person wants to take uh, Sam Alito on an expensive trip, please take him to see the Titanic. Yeah, go kill Sam Alito and a rich white person. Why not? Um, it turns out if we just charge a large sum of money, we can make the billionaires put themselves in the contraption. That is, we can get them killed. Um, people are... Uh, uh, Arguing that, yeah, they, they deserve it. They're bad people. Bad stuff happened to bad people. It's all cosmic justice. Why? Because there were a couple of rich people on, on this ship. One is uh, Hamish Harding, who is the chairman of Action Aviation out of the UK. He's a British businessman. He's often referred to as a billionaire, but Forbes doesn't list him as one. Uh, so, so hard to tell. But he's, he's wealthy. He's wealthy, so therefore he, he needs to be hated. But this is a guy... This is a guy who's, uh, you know, an adventurer. He's, he's holds a Guinness Book of World Records for the fastest circumnavigation of Earth by both uh, the geographic poles. Um, he went up into space with Jeff Bezos, to the edge of space, I guess, with Jeff Bezos uh, last year. Um, you know, he does stuff like this. So, um, so he, he, we'll, we'll get to taking risks in a minute, but, but why celebrate? Or why be happy if somebody like this dies? Shahzada Dawood and his son, a teenager, are both on, on the submarine. Uh, Shahzawa is 48 with his uh, uh, son. They are both uh, Pakistani. He is, um, he is uh, from a very, very wealthy family in Pakistan, one of the largest fortunes in Pakistan. I don't know how they made their wealth. I don't know if they're virtuous people, good people, not good people. But to celebrate that this is the way they die, you know, a really, really horrific way of it. And then the other people in the ship, uh, Paul Henry Nagelet, who is a Titanic explorer. He probably knows more about the Titanic under the water than anybody else alive. He's, uh, he's done six expeditions to the ship in a submarine going down. Um, uh, you know, so, so he is a, a researcher and uh, a salvager. And, you know, he, he, again, somebody who's pushing the envelope, uh, uh, but why have any ill feelings of it? And then Stockton Rush. And this one's interesting because Stockton Rush is the CEO of OceanGate. OceanGate is the company that, uh, that owns a submarine that took the submarine down. Uh, he he started this company. Uh, he is uh, he is the pilot of the missing uh, submarine. Uh, you know he, he's a, he's a, again a kind of a, an explorer type. At the age of nineteen, he was the youngest person ever to gain a jet transport rated pilot's license on a DC eight. Um, he's uh, you know he founded uh, OceanGate in two thousand nine. Uh, and, 
yeah, I mean, none of these people strike me as deserving this. And yet, the envy, the hatred is just disgusting. And, and, and it tells you a lot about the culture that we live in, or at least some people within the culture. Again, I don't want to overstate this. And, and this is driven by, by altruism, right? I mean, it's, it's the needy that deserve our sympathy, and they, they can never do anything wrong. But if somebody's successful in life, if somebody's actually achieved something in life, if somebody does something amazing with their life, particularly if they've made money doing it, they don't deserve any sympathy. They don't deserve anything. Let them rot. Envy comes from altruism. The more altruistic a society, the more envious a society is. And it, and, and it makes sense. We'll talk about this tonight with Ben. But, uh, you know, hatred of the good for being the good, hatred of success for being successful. Well, when you, when you worship failure, when you worship suffering, when you worship the oppressed... Well, then the people who are not, particularly those who are successful and who are in many parts of, in, in many uh, philosophical quarters, you are, are viewed as responsible for their oppression. But the fact that they're white, right, is, is made it into a number of these tweets. Uh, well, you, you, you got to hate them because the people who are down there, the people who are suffering, they're the standard. And, and these rich guys could be helping more. They could be helping a lot. They're still billionaires. They're not helping as much as they could. Where's the bleeding? Where's the suffering? Right. One of the tweets is, um, it's good when bad things happen to bad people. Bad people, by what basis? By the basis that they have money. That's it. Uh, beyond that, um, there's massive amounts of misinformation. I mean, again, this is a, a perfect example of s don't listen to just, you know, people need some expertise. They need to know what the F they're talking about. So, you know, some guy tweeted, he gave specific timeline of when this happened. And then the next day he tweeted and said, um, ooh, sorry, I got all that wrong. Uh, he said, good morning. Every time, uh, every time I mentioned in this tweet is wrong, I read a dozen articles very fast and drank three glasses of wine. Please understand. <laughs> I mean, fine. Why, you, why is anybody taking these people seriously? This is why... You need experts. This is why you need some kind of, uh, you, you know, not that he shouldn't be allowed to post on Twitter, let him post, but this is why you as a consumer of Twitter shouldn't pay attention to a nobody just citing supposed facts because half the time they, they're making the facts up. And then here's one about, um, about uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, um, uh, fact fact checkers. Snoops is a fact checking organization. Well, there was a story out there that um, the sub lost connection to the internet and lost communication because of uh, Starlink. That they 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 uh, that somehow this was related to Elon Musk's uh, Starlink, and it was Elon Musk's fault because the satellite network it, it wasn't connected or didn't connect to the submarine, and. Um, and Snoops verified this is true. But that's insane. Because there is no internet on a submarine kilometers down in the ocean. There's just no internet connection. No satellite can reach the submarine deep down in the water. It's just a joke. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Your iPhone might be might be uh, waterproof up to a certain depth, and but it's not going to get a signal, and it's certainly not going to get a signal four kilometers down. I don't care Starlink. I don't care any any internet. But somebody out there believes that you know, whoops, the internet connection got lost, and people are so ignorant as to believe this stuff, and then a fact checking organization verifies it. And then there's the whole thing about, 
you know, the, 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 the submarine moves with a navigation stick that's controlled by a game controller. They use a game controller, joystick kind of thing to navigate the submarine. And everybody on, on Twitter and elsewhere is making fun of this. This is ridiculous. Why? Who the hell are you? What do you understand about these things? The reality is that the U.S. Navy, the U.S. Air Force use these kind of navigation uh, mechanisms as well. They're, they're actually pretty good, really good, amazingly good for all kinds of things, right? So just because you use it for game doesn't mean you can't use it for something seriously. Anyway, so much misinformation about relatively small story, so much envy and hatred and, 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 and viciousness, it, it, really is, it really is horrible. So um, I don't know. It's, you, you get stories like this and, and you see the response and you see what's happening in the world and uh, you want to you wanna strangle somebody. I mean, it's, it's, it's just super upsetting about the state of people I mean, uh, I put on top of this all the, the conspiracy theory nonsense and all of that. People can't think. People can't screen out misinformation. Uh, and, and, and people are envious and hateful. And, and, and that just makes everything a thousand times worse. Really discouraging about the state of humanity. Thank you for listening or watching the Iran Brooks Show. If you'd like to support the show, we make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening. You get value from watching. Show your appreciation. You can do that by going to yourownbookshow.com slash support, by going to Patreon, subscribe star, locals, and just making a appropriate contribution uh, on any one, of those, uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see the Your Own Book Show grow, please consider sharing our content and, of course, subscribe press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for you, those of you who are already subscribers and those of you who are already supporters of the show, thank you. I very much appreciate it.